With both the Army and Navy comfortably beating the Air Force earlier in the tournament, this was a winner-takes-all showdown between the sides. Having lost the toss, it was the Army who were put into field first, eager to make a breakthrough that would put them on course for victory. The defending champions enjoyed a dream start. Mel Vagas bowled a peach of a delivery and Georgie Kant took a smart catch to dismiss Navy danger player Lou Worsfold, first ball of the innings, and the Dark Blues were naught for one. Having suffered that major setback, the Navy gradually grew in confidence at the crease and soon the runs began to flow off the bat. In their attempt to get back on track, the Navy weren't always convincing when wielding the willow. Hazel Garten had a heart-in-mouth moment, almost gifting her wicket away. Thankfully for her, the ball evaded the grasp of Mel Melbourne. Garten had given the Army further chances to claim her wicket before she eventually fell to the bowling of Amanda Potgeiter. This time she was out LBW, having made a nervy 19 as the Navy slipped to 43 for two. At the other end, Charlie Yem slowly took control of the Navy batting. She swatted away the loose deliveries that came her way to reinvigorate her side's innings. The Navy added a few more runs to their total as they eventually amassed 157 for eight from their 40 overs. The home side knew they hadn't set their opponents the biggest of run chases but were upbeat ahead of their turn to field. A few quick wickets would put them back on top. Despite the Dark Blue's best efforts, the early breakthrough didn't materialize. The Army rode their luck at times, all the while chipping away at the target. With the Army getting comfortable at the crease, they looked on course to eclipse their Dark Blue rivals, Georgie Kant sending the ball to the boundary. Hazel Garden then grabbed the wicket of Vaggers. Quick work from behind the timbers by Yem meant the Army all-rounder was out for 14 and the score 30 for 1. Unfortunately for the Navy, next batsman in was Amanda Potgeiter, a genuine star of forces cricket. Earlier in the tournament, she became the first player of all time to hit 5,000 runs for the service, and she was back in business here. With Potgeiter plundering the runs, the target began to diminish at a rapid rate. Just when the Dark Blues needed some tight bowling, they couldn't quite keep the army on the back foot, and they comfortably reached the target after just 32 overs. So delight for the army as they lift the silverware and they could do the double if they win the women's T20 title later in the summer. Julian Evans, Forces News, Portsmouth.